Skibbity Toilet is getting a movie. That's right, Skibbity Toilet is going to Hollywood, guys. I think it's gonna be absolutely crazy. I, I can't wait till we get the first teaser trailer, but it looks like we're just in early days of this. Here's some of the information we know so far. Let's start off with the announcement made by Defuk Boom in Discord. In his Discord, he says, Here to confirm this is true. We have been speaking and discussing Skibby Toilet with Michael Bay. Michael Bay, who produced a lot of movies, a lot of the Transformer movies, Armageddon, The Rock. We also, he's got an extensive list of producer credits and director credits. Directed a bunch of Transformers, like just huge credentials from Michael Bay. I mean, we all know who Michael Bay is at this point. Explosions, right? And it's fitting that he would direct this movie because Transformers, in a way, is a lot like Skibbity Toilet. You got, you know, mechanical beings, in a way, with mechanical parts and changing forms and all kinds of things like that. It just it just makes sense. And let's not lie, though. There's the CGI in Transformers and the sound. The sound design in Transformers is some of its highlights. And that's exactly what Skibbity Toilet needs. It needs that beautiful sound design because Defook Boom already has like a very unique sound design for Skibbity Toilet. But I think the, the crazy effects that Transformers had, the effects and sound effects worked. And I think it would transfer over well to Skibbity Toilet. Now, if we just go through some of these comments, you know, of course, you know, people's gonna say brain rot, you know, blah, 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 humanity's effed. This, that seems to be the going meme right now. But if you go back to Defook Boom's earlier videos of Skibbity Toilet, right around episode 25, most of the comments were actually really good. Before that whole brain rot meme and Skibbity syndrome thing came to existence, everyone, all the comments used to be, yo, this bro needs his own documentary. And this series needs a, a Netflix movie. Well, guess what? It's happening. Bro is getting his own movie. Yo, and you got you got the typical Twitter, you know, complainy, whiny comments, which is, you know, that's just Twitter's thing. Everyone likes to complain. But um, I've seen comments of people complaining that, you know, Hollywood won't make anything new, that they, they keep on making remakes of remakes. Well, this is a new IP. This has never hit Hollywood before. This is a big risk to the studios. They're taking a chance with Skibbity Toilet, and I'm excited for it. Yes! I agree. The first few the first bunch of episodes are really memey, but the series kicks off into its own it comes into its own thing later on in the series. And it gets really exciting. It's really action-packed, really cool movie. If you like Transformers, the Transformer fighting scenes and all that kind of thing, you would like Skibbity Toilet. It's it's kind of on the same vibe. And here's another thing from this article that I just picked up on. It says what's even more unusual is Goodman revealed that Invisible Narratives, which owns the Skibbity Toilet IP, has a counterintuitive strategy which they allow dozens of YouTuber creators to render their own video content at arm's length rather than crack down on unauthorized works because it amplifies the power of the brand. That is correct and that is a smart move. Case in point with FNAF, Poppy Playtime, those are only huge because there's so much content on YouTube that's created by so many different creators all, all over the world. Like Poppy Playtime came from nowhere. But all the YouTube creators picked up on it. Poppy Playtime saw all this content being made and did not strike these channels or made copyrights against these channels. And now Poppy Playtime is a worldwide sensation. It is very, it's very smart to harness creators and influencers to further, further your brand. Here's some more tidbit information. He's building something that could be the next Transformers or it could be like a Marvel Universe. This is, this is going to be huge. Skibbit Toilet is already huge. But now that we're hitting up Hollywood, man, it's, it's going to be like super mainstream huge. You know, we're going to see toys in Walmart. You got to go to your Walmart store. You're going to see Skibbe Toilet toys. Not going to lie. This is like the last stage for Skibbe Toilet. Like, I don't know how you get bigger than this. You can get like, you get a movie, you get a TV series, and then you get toys in Walmart. I mean, how, how bigger can you get than that? I, I don't know, man. Theme park? Maybe a theme park after that. I don't know. Let's not talk about theme park right now. Right now, Goodman says that they're trying to hybrid, do a hybrid animation slash live action. So kind of like Transformers. You, the Transformers will be the Skibbity Toilets or, or the Titans and everything like that, right? And then also, they're going for a style of John Wick and District 9. Yo, let's just, let's just punch in a screenshot of John Wick. Here's a shot of John Wick. It's dark, it's gritty. Yo, imagine Keanu Reeves as Plunger Caraman rolling up with, with his weapons and plungers, man. I love the cinematography of, of John Wick. It's really nice. And the fight scenes, the choreographing in John Wick, man. Every punch lands hard. It's not just like, what pa 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 you know, Goku and, and, Go and Vegeta fighting. No, it's... It, everything connects. It, has, it feels grounded in reality with the fight scenes. District 9 is touted for some of the best special effects. Like the alien, the way that alien is lit in that scene. Well, I don't know why he's wearing a bra. I mean, I haven't, it's been so long since I've seen District 9, but I remember the special effects 
are very nice. Like that alien looks like he belongs there in that world. He is lit correctly to the environment around him. He's casting shadows in the right place. Everything, everything is in place. Like he looks like he belongs there. Here's another shot from District 9. We got something more robotic. Yo, imagine like one of those mech suits that this uh, scientist cameraman wear. Drive around, you know, just, just look at the CGI. I think, I think the series has a ton of potential. It's a big risk for, for, the, for the studio to pick up on this, but you know what? We've seen the crazy rise of Skibidi Toilet. And at this point, it has nowhere else to go but up. And I'm, I'm so happy to see Skibidi Toilet having a movie, man. This series definitely deserves the recognition it's getting. And I can't wait to see it, man. I hope I, hope, I hope I get to go to the premiere. That'd be so much fun to actually meet the Fook Boom. But... I digress, guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I will keep you guys updated on all Skibby Toilet movie news and what's going on with that. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.